Hi, welcome back to another fantastic recipe. So we've got an authentic black tiger prawn Sri Lankan. Well, that's the onions sautéed. Next, we've got some cashews, melon seed, and a few raisins. Just want to toast those off, bring out that great nutty flavour. So this is quite a special curry. So thank you very much for tuning in. D, just at melting point. So we've got a nice nav rattan. So nav means nine, rattan is jewels. So we've got nine jewels. I'll put all the ingredients and quantities in the description of the video. Let's just start off by using some extra special cumin. This is black cumin. And wherever you can see that, just to flavor that oil. And next, we're going to put some cashews and melon seed and just toast the nets off a little bit just to release their warm aroma. We've made our paste, so our ginger and garlic. Green chilli, kasuri mati, two touch pepper, a little bit of salt. Put your favourite curry powder, I'm using a really good one, British Indian restaurant, mixed powder by Taste of India, over at eBay. And I'm adding about two and a half tablespoons, just going to give that a good stir. We've got some coconut cream powder. Then we need a little water just to prolong the cooking, make sure everything's cooked through at this stage. So we'll bring that to the boil. So the oil has split. We've got our vegetables. Interesting thing about this dish, I want to do it more authentically. I've got some baby corn, some green beans, some raisins that's already gone into the sauce, um, some potatoes and some carrots that I parboiled. Sorry, I did not parboil, forgive me, that I um, prepped the night before. It really helps prep in the night before. It just takes, you know, the concentration can be put the next day on actually cooking. So I want to cook them from raw in the sauce. So it's going to be super tasty. So just going to fold all the veg and get it coated in the delicious sauce that we've already made and don't forget we've got a great paste that we're going to add to that we've got some yogurt some cream some saffron so a nice moglai dish always very indulgent Mog moglai you know the ancient rulers of northern india they only used to eat once a day so plenty of cream butter very indulgent dishes so just going to let that come to a good heat. So just add a little water when everything's heated up. So a little bit more. We don't want too much of the water left, but some of it's going to evaporate, absorb into the vegetables. I just want to soften those veg and we'll return. So the great thing about this dish is you can use nine of your favourite vegetables. So it's unlimited in the combinations and possibilities. So nine jewels. So we're cooking jewels here today. 
that's going to take a little bit of time to soften. Use waxy potatoes, thin skin potatoes, or you could end up with mashed potato. It's a great combo, very flavourful. So we'll continue to cook that for probably around another five minutes. The vegetables have softened and the water has evaporated. Now it's time to put the paste on. So this is where the magic begins because the paste is already cooked so the korma is being born in front of your eyes. So next, apologies for the shadows, we're going to put some yogurt in. And the water, that's much needed actually, that's, that's fine. So stir the yogurt in. Full fat yogurt, as always. We'll come back once that's had a whirl. So it's nice to have natural colours, none of that bright yellow fake looking um, cormas you get. This is a real Indian one. So, nice uh, quality dish requires some saffron and we're going to get an even better colour on that. I want a natural colour, so that's going to be stirred in. So it's quite unusual and very refreshing to get such a dish that has you know cream yogurt coconut and i could have made it more complicated you know with fresh spices but that's not a problem so just to finish off the dish some cream i'll put all the ingredients and um, quantities in the description it's Apologies if I've repeated myself. So we're just going to stir that around. But first, obviously, we need some garam masala. Just going to stir that 30 seconds. We'll come back and serve a bowl. So that's uh, several of these portions. So these shirasha bottles are very excellent for, you know, getting thin. You'll see now. And it's a little bit of saffron on the top. Oh god, it's so hard to open. I'll come off camera for that. So finally with the saffron. Thank you very much for watching. Do cook this video, don't be put off by the quite quite uh, unusual techniques um, on a British standard anyway. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to support the channel, I really appreciate it. Enjoy the sunshine.